Probably a uh, aerial servant. Yes, a bill. Bacio, bacio, what? And uh, invisible stalker. I trust that this current direction we're on will not continue. <laughs> we just had a wild surge. I think the undead are susceptible to fire, so... Spider spawn. Maybe, uh, can at least poison them. Yes? How may I assist? Alright, here it comes. What? Finger of death. I am yours to command. Ice arrows. I await your need. Who stands at dust? Ready and willing. Right, just some fodder, some monster. Uh, pardon, turn up your place. I think he's gonna try the uh, bruiser mates, maybe stun them. No mercy for those who oppose us! Yes. Raven Feeblement. Alright, it's time for Mazzy to step up. Yeah, the <laughs> summons didn't last very long at all. Alright. The group needs me? What is it? Still waiting on Raven Feeblement. You need my skills, I see. I am yours to command. Alright. Heal for Mazzy. Sire? I am ready. What? In defense of virtue! It is about to come. I guess it's already been cast. Alright, mouse. Something amiss. Where's that heal? Okay. Yes? Shaw guides my hand. Yes? Lay on hands. Speak your mind. Aren't you hero stepping up? I am yours to command. You sound like Goladar.
appears to be all of them. The full plate, which I guess is uh, probably worth something. Your servant awaits. Vita, more what? Is there a weapon about? I await your need. So. Vita, more, more. Can't remember uh, where I left off talking about ball spawn. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. I think. Um, oh, talking about distinguishing between what I would call blood children of mortals, or divine or even semi-divine children from some combination of uh, mortal and a mortal and a god, I guess. So I think on one end of the spectrum you can have a more literal interpretation, much like um, you hear in tales of Greek mythology, where a god will walk the earth, I guess, in more or less mortal form. Kind of like, um, I think there's tales of Zeus, for example, lying with a mortal woman disguised as her husband, come home from war. In fact, I think that's the tale for Hercules. Oh, boy. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Only the masters are allowed in the libraries. What are you doing here? <laughs> talking to Jan. Asking who the imp might be. I'm just the resident whipping imp. A menial servant, a serf, a slave, a vassal. The masters couldn't care whether I live or die. Yeah, I think he's hoping that letting the imp know it's free, maybe he'll let him ignore him. Dead. Huh. Not surprised, I guess. I knew trouble was brewing. The masters must have finally killed each other off. You know, I bet that explains all those screams and explosions I kept hearing a while back. At least now I know why the fans shut down. Nobody left to start them up. <laughs> One of the masters told me to wait right here for further instruction, so I waited right here. Smart enough to know better than to disobey an order from one of the masters. Yeah, I think Jan's probably curious how much longer the imp was willing to wait. Look, I'm an immortal spirit, okay? What's a thousand years to me? If you knew how the masters punished disobedience, you would have... have moved for a thousand years either. The master's dead. I've got no reason to stick around anymore, but since you did bring me the news and I'm free to go, I'll help you out. <laughs> this whole place is powered by a magical fan. Without it, all the labs shut down. It's interesting. If you want to find anything besides empty rooms, you should start that fan up again. If you want to find anything besides empty rooms, start that fan up. Okay. Yeah, four masters, each kept a library and a lab. Air, slime, cold and fire, not earth. Okay. The masters, pets, and creations probably still inhabit their labs, so beware. Some of them are near unkillable if you don't know how to hurt them. A little hint for you. The masters were always planning to kill each other. Each master could use his technique Oh, his unique, excuse me, elemental power against one of the others. I think we saw that with one of the notes. So before you go stumbling into something you can't handle, you should check out all the libraries, which is exactly what we were doing. The masters were into some pretty strange stuff. But at least they kept written lab notes of their work. These notes will be invaluable. I think Jan has more questions. 
Sorry I've wasted enough time hanging around here already. One last tip. Go to the air lamp first. It's behind me. The fan has two settings, high and low. <laughs> that might be important. Now I'm gone. Go to the air lamp first. Two settings, high and low. All right. It's interesting. Go to the air lab first. So obviously that's air. Yeah, so saying the more literal end of the interpretation would be, um, for example, Zeus lying with a woman disguised as her husband come home, which is the tale of Hercules or Heracles. But even uh, in Greek mythology, it's not always so literal. Like the, I'm not sure how you'd call that. Ah, this reminds me of a uh, carnal congress, if you will. Sometimes, uh, for, again, with Zeus, might have assumed the form of a swan. <laughs> Stand right on top of it. But he's also impregnated women, mortal women, in the form of a shower of gold. Even just by the mere touch of his hand. <laughs> so, and that's, uh, this is on the literal end of uh, interpretation. So, I think it was at the end of the first game, of course, we saw the... What looked like a coliseum of statues representing the children of Bull. And there was, it looked like there was hundreds of them. I really have a hard time believing that uh, Bull, I guess before his death in the Time of Troubles, walked the Earth in as uh, an incorporeal form and um, impregnated hundreds of women. I don't know. It just seems, it seems like that would be kind of silly. I think.